As Ginny McCarthy works, she sees the things she's trying to fix keep happening. And that's the key is to say, we can do something about this. She paid attention when a student shot two staff members at East High and then killed himself. She pays attention to the school shooting in Nashville on Monday morning. And I don't think that we have a clear understanding of what is needed to address both mental health and firearms access in such a way that we, we could be effective and we could actually move change towards supporting youth and teens. To get closer to that understanding, McCarthy became a doctoral student at the University of Colorado, where she does research at the Injury and Violence Prevention Center. So this is brand brand new. It's Monday's research now. brief published in a pediatric journal looks at adolescent access to firearms. We were surprised. Using data from the Healthy Kids Colorado survey, McCarthy looked at how more than 41,000 middle and high schoolers responded to one question. How long would it take you to get and be ready to fire a loaded gun without a parent or other adult's permission? The gun could be yours or someone else's, and it could be located in your home or car or someone else's home or car. 32% reported access to a firearm. Of those, 25% reported access in less than 24 hours, 12% reported access in less than 10 minutes. The American Indian and Alaska Native population was a group that surprised us in terms of access. Over 17% reported access in under 10 minutes. This time to access a gun matters. Research shows nearly half of individuals who attempt suicide say the time between thinking about it and acting on it is less than 10 minutes. I also think it's uncomfortable to talk about access to firearms. It's a very private issue for many people. But McCarthy says the conversations about safe access and what that means in different communities have to happen to keep more kids from dying. Katie Eastman, Nine News.